Hello everyone, in this video you'll see part 3 of the sleep sound application. You can access the codes early by checking out my Patreon account. First, let's open a new file and name the file Audio Player. This code defines a state object property to manage an audio player object. State object ensures that an object is retained throughout the lifetime of a view and does not trigger the recreation of the view when the object changes. Audio player is likely a class performing functions, such as playing and stopping audio files. This code defines a state property to hold a width value. If the screen height is less than 750, the width is set to 130, otherwise it's set to 230. This is likely used to adjust the size or position of the user interface. This code is used to fetch a presentation mode value from the environment object. This is probably used to dismiss or navigate back from a page. This code defines a property named audio, which is of type list. List likely represents a list of audio files. This code defines a state property named isPlaying and initializes it to false initially. Navigation view is a navigation structure in Swift UI that typically facilitates transitions between a series of screens or content. This structure can be used to provide a navigation bar and navigation functionality. Zestack is a structure used in Swift UI to arrange nested views. Think of it as a stack. The view placed on top appears in the front. For example, a view within a Zest stack can be positioned above and displayed on top of another. This expression creates an image view and sets its image to the one specified by audio. Audio.image is expected to contain the data or reference of the image. This expression forms the foundation of the image view and creates an image view using the specified image. This expression sets the preferred color scheme of the user interface to dark mode. Two vStacks are nested. The first vStack contains an image and other adjustments. The second vStack is nested inside and contains additional adjustments. Image represents the image specified by audio image. The Sura name is retrieved from a pre-written JSON file and displayed on the screen. This code adds a fixed text sleep sound below each sound in the application. This text represents the current time of the audio player. This code creates a horizontal layout H stack and adds three buttons to it. These buttons perform the functions of rewinding, play, pause, and forwarding the audio file. The first button is used to rewind the audio file. When clicked, the audio player.backward function is called. The second button performs the play pause function. When clicked, it toggles the state of the is playing variable, and if it's playing, the audio player.play function is called. Otherwise, the audio player.pause function is called. The third button allows you to forward the audio file. When clicked, the audio player.forward function is called. First, an audio session category is set to ensure audio playback functionality. Then an audio file is loaded from a specific URL and loaded into the audio player. The name, artist, and image of the audio file are specified. Finally, remote control functionality is enabled. This code sets the title display mode to inline in the navigation view and creates a close button on the right side of the navigation bar. This button allows the user to dismiss the current view and stop the audio player. Yes, that's all for today. Part 4 will be the final part. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to write them in the comments. See you in part 4.